Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, which is your station where you get to watch, learn and experience. I'm your tutor, Mr. Mangi Francis, and I'm taking you through physics uh, lesson, form 3. Uh, stay tuned throughout the lesson and do pay attention. So what are the goals of this lesson? By the end of the lesson, you'd be able to state the application of Newton's third row of motion, and we will also now be able to determine the resultant force, force of a body, body in a rift. rift. So let's, let's first, first consider, consider what we refer to as gravitational field strength. This is equal to the, uh, the force acting on a given mass of a body. And since bodies near the Earth's surface are pulled at the same gravitational strength, this gives us a constant force which is 9.81 newtons per every kilogram so in most cases gravitational field strength is numerically equal to the gravitational acceleration and now this helps us to answer what we refer to as uh, the rocket question remember rocket maneuver throughout the space and through the space uh, there is no fluid medium and therefore they rely on the effect of action and reaction which is Newton's third row of motion. So uh, in this case calculate the engine thrust required to accelerate the space shuttle at 3.0 meters per second square from its launch pad. So remember that for every action there is a reaction. And the reaction in this case is what now propels or accelerates uh, the space shuttle through the space. So we have the engine thrust, which is T, and reaction is negative, which is weight given mg. And the rocket has a mass m, and the acceleration will be uh, towards uh, the direction through which the engine uh, thrust is. So, mass of shuttle is 2.0 multiplied by uh, the for us to convert uh, it into uh, the required SI unit. Remember, F is equals to MA. So, we multiply by 10 raised to power 6 kg. So, this gives us a uh, gravitational field strength, uh, the G, which is 9.8. And the solution to our question here therefore becomes F is equals to MA where the force is the thrust minus the engine. So tension uh, T the thrust minus MG and also we should remember that uh, the thrust uh, of the force minus the weight of the engine is equivalent to MA. So by equating the two and making T the subject of the formula we can now be able to determine the force or the thrust of the engine. Uh, we can also now be able to look at this question. Uh, a rift of mass 600 kg carries a space a passenger of mass 100 kg. So calculate the, the tension in the cable when the rift is stationary, accelerating upwards, uh, moving downwards, accelerating downwards or moving downwards but slowly at each of these readings given. So we need to take gravity as 9.8 meters per second. So question number one, let the cable tension be T, mass of the rift be M, mass of the passenger be small m. So stationary rift from Newton's first row of motion, a stationary uh, rift means that the resultant force acting on the rift is zero. That is a body remains in its state of rest or uniform motion unless acted upon by an external force. So the rift at rest gives us T, the tension on the rift will be given by the mass, uh, the weight of the rift and the weight of the passenger. Weight of the rift is given by capital M multiplied by gravity plus the mass of the passenger or the, uh, the, the, the man in the rift which gives us a total of uh, 6,860 newtons. So what if it is accelerating upwards? Apply Newton's second row of motion, F is equals to MA, and therefore the tension of the spring will therefore be given by uh, T, 
minus the mass of the weight plus the uh, the mass of the, uh, the, the weight lift uh, the weight and uh, the sum of the weight of the rift and the sum of the uh, weight of the passenger and this gives us a total of 600 and uh, 700 minus T on the tension and this gives us a total of 7560 newtons so moving upwards but slowing down uh, upward acceleration are positive in this question and the acceleration A is now minus negative 2.5 meters per second and therefore by applying the same same uh, but using acceleration in a negative uh, being taking acceleration as negative since it is under uh, the influence of acceleration due to gravity the tension on the spring decreases to 5110 uh, newtons so but when it is accelerating downwards uh, as it accelerates downwards the gravity is uh, positive and therefore we take the gravity as a minus and therefore the mass on or the tension on the spring becomes 5460 newtons uh, when it when it moves upwards acceleration is positive and the tension on the spring therefore becomes 8960 newtons so you can refer this to secondary physics students book 3 or you can send us a text through the numbers on your screen or give us a visit at youtube channel or uh, Erimu TV facebook page or send us a tweet at Erimu TV underscore ke so stay tuned for more lessons to come Thank you.